Um, now, the reason why I did all of that was because I wanted to do some MAM research. Um, so, let's also build a... Uh, oh, we've got a full inventory, don't we? That was concrete, you silly person. You silly, silly person. We'll leave that storage box there. Let's put a... Um, a craft bench here and we'll also put a mam here so the I needed quick wire which was a hundred and fifty it was 50 Katuri Mingots so that was the point of coming over here to do that but now the next item requires a hundred Katurium wire so while I'm here we can make that a hundred Katurium wire and do that next stage of research and then we can do the next research here okay so there is a couple of things five extra inventory slots I need more wire for that so we're gonna hold off on that one AI limiters and we need something called copper sheets I don't have those just yet and blade runners now I don't have these yet I need 10 of these modular frames do I have what's required to make 10 modular frames I do so we're gonna quickly make 10 modular frames this is part of the whole reason why I wanted to do this research of the Caterium tree is to get what we call the blade runners and the blade runners are an awesome um, attachment for the body early on in the game and you'll see why very shortly that's going to take five minutes to research so we'll come back to that soon um, and that really concludes how to set up a temporary mining solution when there's boulders in the way really early on in the game there are other Caterium nodes I could have gone to that don't have boulders on them and I would have been able to put a miner there but I would not have been able to explain this little technique and how simple it is and because it's close to my base it's a lot quicker for me to do it this way okay so now we've got analysis of Blade Runners complete choose a new node in the tree to begin a new analysis um, so if we go to the equipment workshop we now have blade runners I need three modular frames let's make those and we're gonna automate them soon because I've made them at least four times that I can remember now manually so it's time so here's our one thing to remember you just you may have noticed is when you come back to a workbench or a craft bench you've been using even though blade runners is down here and not selected the last item you selected is still active so you can just go straight in and start working without having to do anything now blade runners go in your body slot and you can see already I'm running faster and I'm jumping higher and this is a really big thing because it here I can jump maybe not maybe not <laughs> I can jump up uh, if I take the blade runners out on a full four meter foundation I cannot jump over a four meter foundation with my blade runners on I can jump a full four meter foundation. So one thing I want to demonstrate here, you can see I've built three lookout towers tall. I'm wearing my blade runners here and in the bottom left of my screen on my health bar, I've got full health. So when I jump off a massive height, I land and I don't die you lose all but almost all of your health but you can do this from any distance in the game 
So you could be at the top of that there and lean all the way down. It doesn't matter. What matters is you have to have 100% full health. So when you're out and exploring, Blade Runners and wearing Blade Runners is like the best thing ever. You, so many times it will save you from uh, accidentally dying. Uh, you could be chase, being running away from a, a bad boy or something like that. Uh, but yeah, that is Blade Runners.